Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own sort of makeshift rich presence in order to display what it is you're listening to on SoundCloud to your friends on Discord. And it'll show up in a very similar way to the way Spotify does, instead it will say listening to Spotify, it will show a cover of whatever it is you're listening to, um, the name, details, the only limitation compared to Spotify in terms of how it looks, is that it doesn't show how far you are into the song. And also there's a slight delay between when you actually skip a song and that actually updating on the card of about like 10 seconds-ish. Further, you're required to be using SoundCloud on browser just because um, SoundCloud doesn't have any form of like first-party support. So we're using a web extension. That's why you need to be using on a browser. So, um, things you're going to require, of course, a SoundCloud account, you're going to be needing a Last.fm account, and also Vencord. Vencord is a Discord patch. Um, it's something that adds a few extra options, including plugins, which we're going to be needing. I'll leave a link in the description for the download for Vencord, but you download whichever version it is you need. For me, it was Windows. And um, you need to have Discord in the first place, I'm pretty sure. And then it patches in some extra stuff, including this plugins menu. In order to make this work today, we're going to be using Last.fm Rich Presence. So let's just check that up for now. And also make sure that your game activity is something that you can see. Uh, so if you go to activity privacy, just make sure that's toggled on. Sweet. So that's why we need vent code for the plugin. So next. Let's actually move on to our SoundCloud. So, you're listening to something on SoundCloud. We need this to be synced up to our last FM. So even though we're listening to this on um, SoundCloud right now, our last FM isn't detecting that. In order to do that, we're going to be using a web extension known as Web Scrobbler. I'm using Microsoft Edge, so I'm going to download the web extension, I mean the Edge extension, if you use Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, feel free to go and download it for your respective browser. But for me, it's going to be Microsoft Edge. So let's press Get, Add Extension. That should hopefully be quite quick. Cool. So that's been installed. So we're going to open up the extension, the options page, and we're going to sign in to our last FM account. So yes, I'm going to allow access to Web Scrobbler. Um, so let's go. I've granted permission. So now if I return to my SoundCloud page and press Control Shift R to do a hard reload of the page, and now if I check my extensions, Web Scrobbler is active. So let's play a song. Let's just move that. Uh, sick. So Web Scrobbler is recognizing the song. So now if I go to my last FM and reload the page, sweet. So last FM is now recognizing and scrobbling what it is I'm listening to on SoundCloud. So you might have already sort of gotten a gist for what we're going to do now. Now that last FM is detecting what we're listening to, we go to our Discord, we go to plugins, we go to the last FM plugin settings and now we sync up the plugin to our last fm so i'm going to fill in some details here including my last fm username and also my last fm api key so in order to get your last fm api key into your url bar type in last.fm slash api i'll leave a link to this in the description and press on get an api account uh, I don't know how much of this you need to actually fill out, but I just fill out the application name uh, and I don't really need to fill out anything else. Press submit. And it gives you some details. What you need from here is your API key. So let's copy and paste that in. And there's some settings. You can adjust that to however you like. I'm going to not check, check both of those, but I am going to check hide Spotify. What this means is that when I'm listening to Spotify, it will say listening to Spotify and then thing. And then when I'm listening with, Spot with SoundCloud, it says listening to SoundCloud. If you have this off, and then down here, we change this to SoundCloud. 
Uh, even if you're listening to Spotify, also you're listening to SoundCloud. Because this last FM thing gets on top of the Spotify. It's a bit awkward, but basically if you listen to Spotify as well, just make sure you have that checked on. Um, and then status name. I'm using this literally just to listen to SoundCloud. So I am just going to write SoundCloud here. Um, in name format, custom status name is fine for me. In terms of when there's missing art to so whatever it is I'm listening to on um, SoundCloud. So say I'm listening to a song but it doesn't have that cover art. Or it's not been synced or whatever. If, if the plugin isn't able to grab that, or Last.fm even. Just press on use generic placeholder, because I'd rather no art show up than the logo of Last.fm. I think it just looks a bit more clean. And I'm also going to turn off the little logo that would show up if this isn't checked off uh, every single time you're listening to a song, because it just helps keep things more clean. So that's what I do. I'd press save and close. And now if I check it, boom. It says listening to SoundCloud, it shows what it is I'm listening to, the cover art as well. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to show you now is if I play a different song. As you can see, it just takes a few seconds for that to update. Um, but it will update. Let's see. Um, there we go. So it's updated to the next track. And that's basically it. It's, it really is just that simple. Uh, that's all really. Just make sure you're using SoundCloud and browser. And make sure your game activity, or activity privacy even, is visible. And now your friends can see what it is you're listening to on SoundCloud. One last thing, just because I forgot on the original recording. But to ensure that when you're watching a YouTube video, that doesn't get picked up, so it doesn't say listening to SoundCloud, top 10 waffles, or something like that, make sure you navigate to your extensions, web scrubbler, options, options, and just make sure these are toggled on, and they'll prevent literally everything you watch on YouTube being scrubbled and then displayed right here. Alright. So that's pretty cool. And... I hope that helped. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching.